Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Anime Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Fascinations just recently released their latest newsletter, the March newsletter at the very end of March, with a sneak peek of another upcoming aircraft model. In the newsletter was a picture of the FA-18 Super Hornet. Don't know much about planes, but it is a neat looking model. There's no details released, just the picture, and while I didn't see it, I'm assuming that somewhere in there is a disclaimer of, you know, this isn't a final, final version of the model. Things could change. I usually slip that in there somewhere. Below that was a neat little note from Metal Earth, and I didn't expect, starts off, Dear Metal Earth Builders. 2020 was a roller coaster of a year, which we could not have survived without your support. We love your post, your honest feedback, your model suggestions, the list of kudos could go on and on. Buying illegal copies of Metal Earth models negatively impacts our company, so we give you many thanks for continuing to buy authentic Metal Earth models, which allow us to continue to expand our list of high quality and creative designs. Also, your support allows us to continue to provide you free of charge replacement parts if you ever break or lose a piece. Simply contact us and we are there for you because we want to successfully com want you to everyone to successfully complete their build. Yours truly, Fascinations Inc., home of the Metal Earth model kit, and there is a link to metalearth.com slash contact us. And Metal Earth's been doing that as long as I can remember. If you've broken a part on your model, contact them and they will I I think they've they will always send you a spare part for your kit to help you can keep building. I do think now they require some sort of proof of purchase where they didn't used to. And I can't say I blame them for that because there are knockoffs and you could be buying a cheap knockoff model and break it and then, you know, Metal Earth's out the cost of sending you a part when you never actually bought their product. So I get that. And there has been debate in the past of whether or not you should buy Metal Earth or knockoffs. You can get knockoffs pretty cheap, but you usually lose the quality of, of not just the instructions but the metal a lot of knockoffs break easily so I do t try to stay away from knockoffs I'm not going to say I've never bought them there have been a few instances where I bought them to compare for videos a couple of times I bought knockoffs because I'd already bought the model and built it but my build video sucked and I wanted to try and go back and redid it and do it I had like a there was a, I think it was a time where there was some sort of lawsuit on PayPal and people got a slight payout for it. I got the payout and I bought a couple of cheap models. I'm not proud. but I And there's been a couple of times where I've bought the knockoff brand, but I, there weren't really a knockoff because Metal Earth doesn't make that model, though I wish they did. One example is this guy right here. If Metal Earth made this model, I would absolutely go to them and buy it, but they don't. Some other company does. But I second that support Metal Earth. They're the ones that are securing these licenses, that are designing these products. And while they're not perfect, no one is, they're a large part of the reason we have all these models and part of the reason that the knockoffs are even able to knock anything off. If Metal Earth dries up, a lot of these knockoffs are going to dry up too. So support the people who are paying for the licenses to keep this above board and who offer you replacement parts and more quality products so you won't always need replacement parts versus the cheap ones that can break and then you got to buy a whole nother one because they don't care about replacement parts. Anyway, moving on. Also, we have the latest Metal Earth Challenge. Metal Earth Spring Challenge. For your chance to receive a gift of Metal Earth model kits and be featured in our next newsletter, send marketing at fascinations.com a creative photo of your favorite Metal Earth model builds with a spring-themed background. Rules when submitting your image include your full name and mailing address. Deadline April 12th, 2021. And then, of course, we have last month's or last um, challenge winners. Congratulations to Ricky Montez for a Hogwarts in snow, in actual snow. And Richard Derry, a very explosive photo with Darth Vader and TIE Fighter and X Wing up in the top corners and three. Stormtroopers up front with, you know, an explosion in the background. Pretty neat combination of images. Congratulations to the two of you for winning last week, or last month's Metal Earth Challenge. If you're not subscribed to the Metal Earth newsletter, you can go to MetalEarth.com. Scroll down to the bottom. There's, I think on the bottom right, a place where you can enter your email address to get it. 
But I will include a link to last month's in the description down below because they send the letter out via email, but there's al almost always a link to view it in a web browser. And speaking of Metal Earth, I do want to point out, I posted about this on YouTube, but I wanted to add, as of very early Saturday morning, At Play Toys still has three of the Mandalorian models. They no longer have the Child. It's out of stock, but they have the IG-11, the Razor Crest, and the Mandalorian. If you haven't gotten or pre-ordered those elsewhere, you can get them from At Play Toys. I just got mine in the mail yesterday. They still have some in stock, so check it out. There's always a link in the description down below to At Play Toys. It's an affiliate link, so if you click on that link, it does give a little bit of a kickback to me to help support this channel. And as far as I've been able to tell, it doesn't increase your cost at all. Or you could just go to atplaytoys.com and search for the models yourself. I'll also add that At Play Toys also has the S97 S97 Raider helicopter an S-64 Skycrane helicopter in stock as well, if you're interested in those. Looking at Peace Cool and MU's website, I'm not seeing anything new. I did bum around AliExpress for a while, and all but one of the stores, I didn't find anything new that I hadn't already talked about previously. A couple of things caught my eye, because they had changed the pictures, but I did a search through my own records and found out I'd already talked about them. The one exception is on a store called Iron Star, the Iron Star store, I don't know that that is in any way related to Iron Star models. I kind of doubt it. I think it's just a store name. But on the Iron Star store, I did notice some interesting vintage camera models that I thought I'd talk about this week. There's a link to it in the description down below. We have the M3, which I believe is a Leica, L-E-I-C-A. Not, not a camera person. I mean, they look cool and I respect them, but I don't have no, don't have a lot of knowledge on them. So I think my girlfriend does, but she's sleeping right now. Um, M3 Luica, Luisa. It's uh, the only information I have. The finish size is 5.5 by 11.9 by 6.3 centimeters. Stainless iron, 60 parts, and it looks like it's 1440 US dollars on that store. And then we have the 503CW, which is a Hasselblad. Hasselblad. Finish size of 5.4 by 9.7 by 8.5 centimeters. Stainless iron, 65 pieces, also listed at $14.40 USD. And then we have the 2.8F Roland Flex, as I believe what this is supposed to be. If you look on, it's a really detailed looking camera and it has writing and wording on it, but it looks like they've misspelled it. It's on the package, or on the front of it, it says Roly. Rolla Feex, F-E-E-X, instead of F-L-E-X. I did Google this. I Googled all of them to see if they, you know, actually corresponded with something that exists. And I found the 2.8 Rollaflex camera that looked pretty much the same. Finish size of 5.6 by 6.2 by 8.5 centimeters. The last number is always the height. Stainless iron, 42 pieces, also $14.40 US dollars. Really interesting and detailed models. I'm kind of interested to get them and add them to my collection. Not that I know much about cameras, but it's, it's a vintage thing. It's kind of neat, especially the the last two, the 503CW and the 2.8F. They're really cool looking. I mean, even the M3, still very recognizable as a camera, but classic looking. I think they're very neat. I think there would definitely be some people out there that would be interested in that. It's something not plain, not Star Trek or Star Wars, and not architecture but still very cool. Again, there's a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. I don't think they are actual Iron Star models. I didn't see anything about a brand name, so I don't know what they are. May have missed it. Took me a little bit of figuring out what the actual names were supposed to be. I did also find on the same store, the same Iron Star store, there's a listing for St. Patrick's Cathedral from Nanyuan. And Nanyuan's been around a while, and I want to say somebody told me that Nanyuan turned into Iron Star, but I don't know how true that is. But Nanyuan is known for making cheap copycats and cheap models, and the instructions are not always the best. The end product and metal, and whether or not they've actually punched out all the tabs, included all the slots, is not the best. But they've got a copy, or got a version of the St. Patrick's Cathedral, and if you go into that, there's also other familiar looking models such as America Round, the Notre Dame, a couple of others. It looks like they've added LED lights to several of them. 
at least in the pictures they have LED lights and I noticed some of them said with LED but I'm not precisely certain they all come with LED because the listing is it's one of those multiple listings where it's all jumbled into one and lacking a bit of detail. I'm not going to put a direct link to that just in case it is misleading. I don't want to further mislead people. But if you follow the other link for the vintage cameras, you take you to the store, you can search for it yourself and uh, research yourself and, and, you know, find out for yourself if that's something you're interested in, if that's actually what you're going to get. I only saw one product review and it really didn't say much. But I, you know, I'm in the store, I figured I'd include that as well because I know there's I kind of like to add LED lights to my models, but I just never take the time because, well, there's so many to build, and I, I love moving forward and building new ones and don't even have the time that I would like for that. So I don't typically go back and modify. But for those of you who might want to have an LED but don't want to go through the trouble of modifying and find your own kit if they actually include it and make it so that you can easily add it in, that'd be really cool, wouldn't it? So I thought I'd include talking about it, but again, I'm not going to put a direct link in case I'm not correct and they don't actually come with LEDs. Now reaching back to last week, I had mentioned a Duesenberg Model J that had Hot Wheels wheels modified onto it, so it actually rolls. At the time, I didn't have a video of it actually rolling or any more information. It was re, re or shared from by Metal Earth. I didn't know the original. Could have taken more time to research it, but I didn't have much time. I did get contacted from George Rodriguez and thanked, you know, hey, cool, you know, my model showed up on your video. And they sent me a actual video of it rolling that they took. So I'll definitely share that with you. That's pretty cool to see the actual video. And I also have a link to where they shared it on Facebook with a bunch of pictures of the different steps to the process and what they did to modify it so if you're interested that's really cool that's in the uh, description down below links for that nice little video of it actually rolling so we now have verification not that i didn't believe them that it actually does roll and i understand they're working on they're working on customizing other models as well george sent me several different pictures of things that they've made from scratch so very very talented person we have right here George Rodriguez and the things that they've made I'm not going to share all of them here but I will say that they are apparently working on customizing a or planning on customizing a Fokker model Fokker plane into a Sopwith Camel if I'm saying that correctly which is another similar plane that there are no model uh, models of yet so they're going to modify it look forward to that and there was also talk of building the Terminator model and doing some modification on that as well I'm not going to say here I'm not going to tease here. We'll just wait and see. They said uh, George says he would share pictures or pictures and or video of that when they are complete. And I look forward to seeing that, and we'll share them here because that's that's pretty awesome. So thank you, George, for reaching out, contacting me, and sharing that information. Uh, I love some of the custom love the custom stuff that people do, and there's so much out there I don't talk about. And every now and then something just really catches my eye, and I want to talk about it. But very cool. Thank you. And that's pretty much the end of new things this week. Not finding a whole lot out there, just a few things, but there's always next week. Do my best to keep on track, though. As you've seen, I'm not always managing. I've not been working as much or any overtime this past week. I've been chilling a little bit more, taking some time to just sit at home. You know, when I'm not working, I am still working my regular hours. Uh, the girlfriend is back in town from traveling for the past three months, so spending some time with them while I'm not working as much, I still Still don't have much spare time because I'm, I'm taking advantage of her presence while I can. And, uh, yeah, moving on. It is the beginning of another month, so I do, from my heart, want to thank this month's Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel. It is greatly appreciated. So I do want to thank Chris Paskowitz, George Bell, Hugh Morrison, Jay, James Herring, Kaj Nielsen, Ken Crowen, Kendall Fargo, Laurent Palm, Mon Hung, Phil Miller, Seth Bell, Shallon Moody, Timothy Green, and Timothy V. Thank you very much for your continued support for another month. And just, just, just thank you very much. It allows me to do things like buy models that I can build. But also, I recently had a video monitor failure. It was an older monitor that was on its last leg. I had already taken it apart and replaced some capacitors. Got it working for a couple more years. It finally just burned out again. And 
you know, it was nothing to it to run to a, I found a local computer shop that had some spare monitors, easy peasy, buy one fairly cheap, and I had the finances to do it through Patreon, so thank you very much. I, I wasn't even really down a day. I was able to easily replace that monitor and have the funds to do it, and I can still continue Researching the videos is a lot easier when I can put all the stuff that I find on two screens and stitch it all together. So thank you very much for your support. Just little things like that. It's a great help. So thank you again. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all those who use the affiliate link at Play Toys in the description to buy models. That also helps. It funds little bits here and there. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to everyone that's interacting. I will see you next week. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, keep on keeping on.